Mina-san konnichiwa, this is David. And Mina. And tonight uh, we are looking at the Wing Gundam Zero Hono Custom Kit. Now, here is the box. It's fucking gorgeous. Yes, I love <laughs> the box. Like, usually these custom kits, if you're not familiar with them, usually they come in um, like brown or gray cardboard. Mm -hmm. um, they're very boring. Sometimes you'll get art, but I really like this one. And fortunately, the magazine that it comes in actually comes with a fold of that um, art. So yeah. there's that. Um, great packaging. Great packaging for a simple custom kit. Mm. Okay. So, the Wing Zero Hono custom kit. Uh, it is going to be basically everything that is um, just stark white in this um, in this review is going to be from that. Um, and there we go. I'm going to show off all of that stuff. Um, it's it's a great little kit. It's only a single runner, but it has a lot of little th things to it. So first off, you have if you want to use it as a uh, modifier for the wings you can just add those to those and it just adds this giant profile to the wings mm -hmm. um, it sort of gives it um, a profile like one of the endless waltz kits like this reminds me a lot of the death scythe hell <laughs> custom or the wing zero custom endless waltz version but no goofy feet yeah without the goofy ugly feet of those <laughs> yes not a big fan of feet. um so the one big gripe that i have and this this is just this is a money maker i think for them and it's gonna make my money so, you know, I can only complain so much. This complain set right here. So much when we love you so much. Yeah, I know. We love you, Bandai. <laughs> um, so this piece right here, this set of wings, or feathers. Mm. These feathers are kukris, which is kind of cool, right? Right. Um, but there's only one of this set in here. Yep. And in order to make the kit symmetrical, you need two. And you know, without symmetry, we will all panic and die. Well, they're wings. They have to be <laughs> fucking symmetrical, right? Like, but you can put them on the sword. You can, but but they're we'll they're, feathers. they're feathers. Um, they're feathers. It, I I want them for the wings. Frankly, like, I I would buy those pieces separately. Put them on the portents. But the portent. The portent. Flyer. Yeah, the G portent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so that, that's my one complaint that. about the kit. So let's see what we got here. Mm. These are, of course, the main focus of the kit. Um, they are two long blades. Uh, and actually, there's adapters on here. These are, these are hinges um, that you can take right off. And those are what you use to attach them to the wings. Uh, and it allows them to pivot a little bit on there. Um, they're actually really well kept on there. Um, which is kind of weird too, because well, it's well, it's a good thing you're that they hold pretty tight. Um, you have to be able to change them out. So anyway, configurations for these I will show in just a moment. Um, I will note that there is a backpack. This is a Gundam Build Fighter style backpack. Mm -hmm. um, so you can literally just put these on here with the adapters. Um, you can put them on there. And so you can put these two wing effect pieces on whatever kit you want. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of cool, mm -hmm. is what it is. Um, so you can put them on the bear guy, uh, the little tiny bear guy, right? Done and give and two giant, done. Yeah, two giant um, blades. Um, it comes with a head. You bring this up real close. I don't know how well I can focus. But um, this head is super detailed. Uh, and it's actually built in a really nice way that promotes painting. It's it's four pieces. Um, the magazine actually comes with a nice painting guide, too, that gives you ideas and colors. And even where to put the masking tape down. Yeah, it nice. shows you where to put the masking tape down on the swords and everything. Um, it, this is particularly important because the Wing Zero Hono is a um, manga, uh, so it's never been really shown in color. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's nice. We have this piece right here, which... Turns this into sort of a little javelin type deal. Uh, um, it's probably the least <laughs> impressive of these parts. Um, we we get four hands, two left, two right, <coughs> and we have fists, which the Hono doesn't naturally have. And then we have these wonderful thumb up, 45 degree angle hands. Love these. These are for holding the giant sword pieces. Um, these are very similar to the ones that come with the Sengoku Astray. Mm. 
Uh, or I, I don't know if the blue and red frame estrays come with them. They probably do because the Sengoku estray does. Mm -hmm. But um, they're really great for holding weapons at an angle and for dual wielding a weapon or two handed a weapon. Um, so I, I really love those. Anyway, let's get back to the, the main weapon here. Speaking of the red and blue frame astray, right. this is reminiscent of it. These two pieces together, it turns into a giant sword. Giant sword looks very similar, like in size and scope, to the um, tactical arms that come with the red and blue frame. Um, I think it looks really cool. Mm. <clears throat> okay, and we put that on the sword hand. And then our Hono holds it. And now he has a big, giant, fucking menacing sword. Menace. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. I like that sword. <coughs> you would. I know. I like big swords. <laughs> I know what that means. Yeah. Um, and if you're trying to analyze that at home, don't even bother. So you take one of them off, take and it. you have a slightly more reasonable looking sword. Um, slightly. Slightly. And if you want to give it a Hono looking effect, you can toss these kukris on here. That's my favorite configuration. And now you have a sword that ugh. the hands are actually really well made mm. so you have a sword oh, wrong hand you have a sword that fits that motif and looks really good um, and still manages to have a really big sort of silhouette a really big profile yeah, yeah. <clears throat> So, love that sword. I'll compare and contrast these two heads for real quick. Now, you'll notice um, the one big difference is, is that the, <coughs> the default head has those effect parts on it. True. Um, but there's definitely more detail in the custom mm. head. Um, the custom head also has a bigger uh, forehead crown jewel thing. Uh, it's The V-fin is just way more detailed. Mm. Um, the side pieces are a little bit more, and it's it's sort of it's slender, um, it's slightly narrower, which has a very manga feel to it. It's got a few extra panel lines, which is nice. So it's definitely different. Um, thus, you know, custom. The advice for painting it is really neat too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we actually can we show that off real yeah, quick? Yeah, sure. Since I have it open anyway. <clears throat> Particularly the headpiece. Yeah, the headpiece. Yeah, it gives you idea, it gives you advice for how to give it a good paint job and like make it look gorgeous paint. like that. Yeah. Um, yes, and and the um, the painting guide here just gives you all of these really great silver effect ideas, how to make it shine um, literally, mm -hmm. and it just it looks really really cool with that chromed effect there. It really complements the reds. Um, of the the core build um, and they even they even recommend d doing a base coat in black and stuff in order to give mm. it a real strong finish um, <coughs> and it gives you advice for how to do the um, the head the v-fins um, including trimming the little shitty safety, safety things, things off of there <laughs> just like cut those off you know? yeah yeah so there is um, the Wing Zero Hono custom effect part, mm. or sorry, custom um, blah, custom kit <clears throat> that comes in Hobby Japan magazine. Um, I believe you can still order it on GG Infinite uh, and Hobby Link, maybe even Amazon, I don't know, um, but you should probably do so pretty quickly because it is limited. Um, you'll mm. only be able to get it for probably another week or so. I, I don't know. So if you want it, get it. But even the, the magazine is worthwhile. Yeah, the magazine is actually really great. Mm. Um, it is, I mean, Hobby Japan magazine is packed full of all kinds of full, cool gun plot stuff. And it gives you the um, foot pictures and release dates for the next like three or four months, um, which is cool. Um, and... There we go. There's our there's our custom kit. Uh, quick reminder. Oh, quick reminder. Quick reminder. We are doing a contest. Yes. 
Um, the contest is to build custom gunpla. We are going to do a build fighter type type elimination with it. Um, there's a video in our feed that you can you can look at. Um, there will be prizes, and uh, we already have a few entries, so yes. that's exciting. We'll probably showcase some of those pretty soon, um, and do maybe a couple tutorials and things like that. So please. Please build some custom gun plot. Participate. And Participate. if you have any specific tutorials you'd like us to go over with the to, with the contest in mind, please put them in the comments. Yes, if you want to do a custom, but you're not sure about <laughs> something that you want to do with it, just let us know. We'll try to we'll try to figure it out if we don't know, and we will do a tutorial for you. Mm. All right. So matane. Matane.